Hello, welcome to Sports Broadcasting Center, and today we're talking about Game 7 of the Celtics uh, Sixers game. How do you think the game played out, Chris? I think it played out very well for the Celtics. They took the win. They're going to move on. Um, great game by Tatum, 30-10-10. and 10. Uh, Great game by Brown, 20-12-2. and 2. Great game. Yeah. What do you think, Ryan? I think that the Celtics played very well, and the 76ers were just trailing behind them the whole game. You know, at the end of the game, it was tied. Sam Hauser with the go-ahead three, and it was a pretty exciting moment for them. So I think the Celtics will be moving on with some great momentum to play the Heat. Yeah, I completely agree. The Sixers at the end, they started playing sloppy and gave up a lot of turnovers and basically gave the ball to the Celtics. So I think the Celtics definitely deserve to win. What do you think? Um, I think that the 76ers, uh, they had a solid game the, for the first three quarters. They didn't finish in the last quarter. The Celtics blew away with it at the end. Um, we got to play four quarters. The Celtics did. The 76ers didn't. What do you think about what Chris just said? Yeah, I did, the Celtics were definitely ready to play the fourth quarter. I think maybe Coach Joe Mazzulla gave him a good speech, draw up a couple plays, and Embiid, you know, he got hurt in the middle of the fourth quarter, kind of deflated the 76ers. So they didn't have a lot of defense in the fourth quarter, at the end especially, and that definitely hurt them in the long run. Yeah, Embiid is a crucial part of the Sixers game, but without him, they can't they can't complete a game. He's too important. Unless Harden steps up, and so does Maxi, it's impossible for them to win a game. Yeah, uh, I agree with Manny with Embiid's bad play in the fourth quarter. Um, he's the backbone of the team. He's the MVP, and. Harden didn't really step up in his in his gap uh, that Embiid left. Maxi had a great game, but Harden didn't. Maxi had 20 points, and kind of he seemed like he was trying to help the offense grow, and he was trying to make plays, but none of the other Sixers were. Harden didn't seem like he cared enough to play um, in this game seven. It's huge game seven, and uh, that hurt the team. I completely agree with you. What do like? What do you think your opinion on James Harden on the Sixers is? Because personally, I think he's not what he used to be, and he hasn't been able to step up for the Sixers yet. Um, I think he's not. Yeah, he's not who he used to be. He's a little older now. Um, I would say at some points when he shows up, he's a great player, but other points he just looks like he doesn't want to even be there. And I think it might be time for him to go. Yeah. But I think they need to start building around Maxi and Embiid. They could get a good amount of things for James Harden because he's still pretty valuable in trades. So, yeah. Um, James Harden, I think that he certainly changed his game in order to play with the 76ers. He used to be a shot-first kind of guy in the Rockets, but now he's – Changed his game to play against with Embiid. He's averaged a lot more assists. Well, yeah. Okay. I think this will wrap up our show. Thank you for watching Sports Broadcasting Center, and I'll see you next time.